my next little job here. Uh, where I'm at is... Oh, here we go. Camera, flip over for me, please. Thank you. Alright. The Japanese Zen Garden. It's right here behind City Hall in Independence, Missouri. Uh, USA. We have a sister city. The uh, sister city is called Higashimureyama. This is the little plaque here that they got. Where it reads, in commemoration of the completion of the Japanese garden, as a symbol of lasting friendship developed between the cities of Independence and Higashimureyama, nothing Nothing affords us more pleasure than the uh, completion of the Japanese garden in your fair city. It gives us a sense of pride that we have had the cooperation of highly skilled artisans in the constructions of the garden. It is the hope of the citizens of Higashimureyama that this garden, which has been constructed in harmony with the beautiful nature of your city, will become a familiar place of rest and contemplation for you. And that is December 1st, 1985. Higashi Mureyama City, uh, Higashi Mureyama International Friendship Association. And then I'm guessing that's going to be the same thing here. You know, uh, I used to know Japanese, I don't know anymore. But, I'll go ahead and go along here. If you do know Japanese and you want to read through it, Pretty fun. Recognize some characters. Like I know that says Masu right there. That says Masu or Mas. However you want to say it. Uh, I know that's No right there. Typically means Up. So Te or De, depending on if it has those little markers or not. Pretty cool. Oh, I know that is a symbol for stone, typically, or mountain. Um, I think, oh, there's ta, there's ni, there's wa, or ha. And I need to restudy, it's been a good while. Ni hong. I know that's such Japan, so. Taking a look around the city here, or the garden here. Uh, pick this up. Is that trash over Yeah, that's trash over there. Hang on, let me pick that up too. So, there's some, some history about independence. Uh, you may or may not know this if you live here or if you don't. Uh, but we had a certain president originate here who may or may not have ended World War II. Uh, and he may or may not have dropped a certain uh, weapon of destruction. And, you know. I mean, you know the history. You all know what I'm talking about. You can tell I'm just being a sarcastic asshole here. Uh, but this uh, garden isn't very well maintained. That's kind of like my point. I know not a lot of people know about this. It is a pretty good, nice garden. And, you know, the police station is right over there. So that's where all the sirens are coming from. Uh, but, like, I've kind of just started with... You know, trying to clear off the pathway, get all the trash picked up, all the rid of all the plastic, you know, uh, and then, uh, you know, trying to take all the mulch that's on top of all the rocks here, because those rocks are supposed to be exposed, uh, because that's how the garden works, you know, like you can see, tried taking up the mulch, there's still a lot of, like, wet where it's all, you know, been decomposed. And all that stuff. Uh, oh, there's the tree. You know, so. 
and I'm trying to clear that out. Oh. Another thing of plastic I didn't see earlier. Alright. Fucking plastic. Alright. No, uh, uh, there's signs over there that are supposed to go. I know where one of them goes. I think one of them goes right here. Yeah, right here. You see where that little hole is? I think it's supposed to be like about those little rocks there. Uh, what's this like neat little bridge thing here? Is this plus? No, that's a leaf. Alright, that's natural. I think it's safe. Um. You know, uh. I would imagine. Freaking ramen cup. Hello. Oh, at least I know someone's eating here with proper food. <laughs> uh, oh, and there's another tiny fucking piece of plastic. Hang on. You know, it's a pretty neat little area. You know, they could use this tree maybe trimmed down a little bit so that the pathway's a bit more clear. I think it's supposed to be a bonsai tree, so I think it's supposed to be like maintained and clipped anyways. And again, you know, they gave us this sister city in commemoration. Uh, because, you know, after World War II and all that stuff, you know, Truman, he's from this city. And they decided to, you know, have some kind of partnership. You know, uh, every year there's the Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, and I guess they have some ice cream thing with the exchange students too that I just heard about from one of the staff members here. Uh, that I guess I didn't know about before. So. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty neat area. You know, you're supposed to like take like a little like rake thing move out the rocks, you know, have like a little design in it, you know, like I would probably do it like around here, you know, you have like a little circle, maybe like go around, I don't know, just have it be neat and nice, you know, it would be really neat, you know, considering that this is also, you know, Independence, Missouri, you know, the place the center place of where Zion should be. Uh, and according to some, maybe the location where the Garden of Eden once was. I know, so, you know, the first commandment unto Adam was to take care of the garden. You know, so, that's what I'm going to do. If anyone wants to help out, again, it's right behind City Hall. You know, uh, you know, I think an idea that I'm having is like all these like little yellow leaves. You can gather them, collect them. You know, after we get all the mulch done and we do it, make yellow leaves and we kind of like put them like in the lines around them. And I think it would be very neat and pretty. Because as it says on that plaque, you know, it needs to be in commemoration along with the natural beauty of the city. You know, these are all plants. You know, how coming directly from the trees provided by God himself, so... Why not?